Well, thank you very much, Vice President Geiger. And to you, Mr. President, Holstein Association directors, delegates, members, and Holstein enthusiasts, I'm happy to be with you this morning. In my address to you today, I'm going to provide a snapshot of the U.S. dairy industry in 2018 and report on some of the association's initiatives. As nobody knows better than you, 2018 was a difficult year for the dairy community. Milk prices were depressed as they had been for several years, and 2018 was the most brutal. The average Class III milk price for the year was $14.61 compared to $16.16 .16 in 2017. The plight of America's dairy farmers received more national attention in the popular press than I've ever seen before. Quoting from an article that appeared in the December 31, 2018 edition of the Lexington Herald Leader in Kentucky, quote, there were 600 dairy farms in Kentucky at the beginning of 2018 with a grade A milk permit, but that number dropped to 513 by December 1st, said Maury Cox, executive director of the Kentucky Dairy Development Council. Quote, by comparison, the state had 1,400 dairy farms in 2005. End quote. The January 2019 issue of Farm Journal's milk publication reported that right here in Wisconsin, quote, 691 dairy farms went out of business. For the calendar year, that's a loss of 7.9%. The article went on to say, quote, in the last decade, Wisconsin has lost 4,819 milk herds, or about 37% of its herds. The rate of losses this year has more than doubled the rate of loss over the past 10 years. While sobering, these statistics are not intended to be depressing. They're shared because all of us in the dairy community, individually and collectively, need to closely examine what, if anything, we might want to do differently and develop a plan and timeline to do it. Changing consumption habits have play a role in the oversupply of milk. Unfortunately, people are just drinking less of the world's greatest natural protein drink. Milk consumption was 247 pounds per person in 1975, but dropped to 149 pounds, a 40% reduction by 2017, according to the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Ladies and gentlemen, whether we want to admit it or not, we have come to the point in American agriculture where we can't expect the export market to be the silver bullet for this, the sale of U.S. agriculture commodities like milk. For years, all of us in the American production agriculture community have tended to believe we're so good at what we do and our products are the best in the world, so therefore we have the right to produce all the milk, corn, sea, soybeans, wheat, etc. we want to, and somebody in the world will purchase it at an acceptable price. Today, we're living in a time where that is not necessarily a sure thing. Times have changed, which means agriculture in the U.S. needs to be managed differently today than it was yesterday. We simply can't go on as we have. Back in 2009, at your annual meeting in Sacramento, California, I predicted that not all milk would have a market in the near future, and also indicated that those whose only source of dairy income is a fickle commodity milk market will have challenges. Unfortunately, those predictions have come true and will continue to play out. This underscores the critical need for the continued use of the programs products, and services of the Holstein Association. Buyers of milk and dairy products at all levels are more choosy today than ever before. Just because you produce it doesn't mean the milk co-op, butter and cheese maker, or the consumer at the retail level is going to buy it. The more the bulk milk buyer at the processor level and the consumer at the retail level know about the product they are purchasing, the more, generally, the more they're willing to pay for it. Data and information in general are king today, and the Holstein Association USA is able to provide that information to you 
like no other source. The accuracy and quality of identification of the cows producing milk at the farm are, be are being scrutinized more today than ever before. This trend is likely to increase in the future. In 2018, you registered 367,599 Holsteins and identified 380,994 animals through the association's basic ID program. This represents an all-time record of 748,593 Holstein identifications. Holstein identifications in 2018 versus 2017 reflect the increased value that's being placed on proper identification of dairy cattle. Back in 2003, when we registered 288,841 Holsteins, there were 70,375 licensed dairy farms in the U.S. In 2018, the number of licensed dairy farms in the country unfortunately dropped to approximately 40,000. That's a loss in number of dairy farms of 43%, but an increase in registrations of 27% in the 15-year time frame. Quite simply, a higher percentage of dairies in this country own registered Holsteins than ever before. During the same time frame, the number of animals we basic ID annually has increased by 275,141 head, or 260%. The total number of animals you identified through your association in, in 2018 increased by 353,899, or 90% since 2003. That's phenomenal growth over the last 15 years. These numbers tell us two things. Obviously, the interest in registered and identified Holsteins is at an all-time high. Secondly, your association is working with a higher percentage of dairy farms than ever before. Clearly, there is value in registered and identified Holsteins. That's why you've increased the number of Holsteins we're identifying by 90% in 15 years. You can find all the details of the Holstein Association program activity in the 2018 annual report. Some of you have heard me say respectively, this ain't your grandpappy's Holstein Association anymore. We say that because anybody who milks cows can benefit from the programs, products, and services offered by the Holstein Association. Put another way, any dairy that is not doing business with us today is a prospective member customer. I'm going to briefly touch on some of the newer innovative things which have been factors in broadening the scope, dairies, the Holstein, the scope of dairies the Holstein Association USA now serves. In late 2017, we launched our TriStar AMR program, which stands for Automated Milk Records. This package makes milk records available directly from your robotic milking systems. We're the first organization in North America and likely the world to make this service available. As you know, with each milking, robotic systems collect a wealth of production information, and now your Holstein Association offers a way to link milk records into our TriStar Records program. If you're milking with robots and aren't on TriStar AMR, visit with one of the Holstein Association's representatives this week to see how you, we can get you signed up for this exciting new program. Also know that the Holstein Association's Dairy Records Processing Center in Visalia, California, Agritech Analytics, ATA, is the fastest growing center in the country. According to information compiled by the Council on Dairy Cattle Breeding, the number of records processed at all other DRPCs continues to decline, while ATA continues to grow the number of cow records they process. If your dairy records are not currently being processed by ATA, let us know and we can easily arrange for the changeover. The Enlight Computer Program, which we de developed in collaboration with Zoetis, is an online management tool to design health to help Holstein breeders manage their herd genetics more efficiently. The program, the first of its kind, helps you to better manage your Holstein herds. If you're not already enrolled, see one of us and we'll be happy to get you set up. We're also pleased to report and give you an update on the Holstein Marketplace. The Marketplace debuted on the Association's website about a year and a half ago. 
This new service gives Holstein Association members the opportunity to sell cattle, embryos, semen, and also advertise sales and dispersals. Holstein Marketplace Sires, which started in January, gives members a vehicle to market semen of high quality genetics from their own bulls to other breeders. These bulls offer depth of maternal pedigrees featuring multiple generations of high producing, very good and excellent dams. Their strong pedigrees are complemented with the bulls high ranking genomic evaluations resulting in a balance of production, health, reproduction and type. Under the program, the bull owners retain ownership of their bulls and Holstein Marketplace Sires provides the vehicle for the semen to be sold. This new program gives members another profit opportunity on their farm. If you're not in the habit of looking at the Holstein Association's website regularly, please do. The Holstein Marketplace and weekly What's Up video always have items that will be of interest to you. Our fourth Holstein America program will appear on RFD TV Thursday, September 26th. Holstein America is the only nationalized televised dairy program in the country. Through our communication efforts, the Holstein Association has positioned itself as the voice and face of the dairy community. Every week, we're spreading the good news of the dairy industry and registered Holstein cow through news bites we offer to RFD TV and National Association of Farm Broadcasters radio stations from coast to coast. The Holstein Association is taking on proactive genetic research projects with colleges and universities like it's never done before through its research grant program. You'll hear more about the research later during the annual meeting. As background, according to a press release regarding 2018 business activity from the National Association of Animal Breeders, NAAB, quote, Domestic beef units sold in the U.S. increased by 1.5 million units, representing an increase of 59 percent. The domestic dairy units reported for the U.S. declined by 5.7 percent, or 1.3 million units. The increase in beef semen sales and decrease in dairy semen sales are direct results of the high number of U.S. dairies that are breeding a percentage of their herds to beef sires. These phenomena present opportunities for Holstein Association members. Currently, for most dairies who use beef bulls, they have two criteria for selection. The first is they have to be black, and the second is they need to be inexpensive. Most who are using beef on dairy give no thought to the mating other than what I have mentioned, and as a result, sometimes end up using the leftover semen beef breeders didn't want. As 2018 was drawing to a close, the Holstein Association and American Semental Association began collaborating on a program to enhance the profit potential for Holstein Association members who have made the business decision to breed a percentage of their herds to beef. To my knowledge, this is the first time a dairy breed association and a beef breed association have ever collaborated on a project. Now our members can capitalize on their Holstein genetics by using beef semen that is complementary to their Holstein genetics. Through research, the fine folks at the American Semental Association and International Genetic Solutions have found that the best beef mating on Holstein is semen from Simangus bulls. We now have a scientific method for those breeders to use through an index of available to identify those top Simangus bulls, which is the Wholesome Index. In the end, the Wholesome program should put more profit in Holstein and Simmental Association members' pockets. This endeavor will bring Holstein breeders, cattle feeders, and packers together with the eventual goal of being the Wholesome American Beef branded product. In an effort to add more value to registered Holsteins in your herd, we also launched a new recognition program, the All National Holstein Showcase, where animals earn points for their placings at National Holstein shows. We've already released a mid-season ranking following spring shows and will be excited to introduce our first honorees in December of this year. The eight forward-looking initiatives I just mentioned are only some of the innovative things the Holstein Association has done recently to help add value to your cattle, increase efficiencies, and profit on your dairies 
and to promote not only registered Holsteins, but the dairy industry at large. We love to be initiators, not imitators. Participation in programs like these helps separate you and your dairies from those who, for the most part, have little to no verification on their cattle and records that mean anything to anyone other than their herd owner and people who work on the dairy. As we know too well, the profit margin most have been able to receive over the last four or five years in the commodity milk market has been thin at best. Those of you with registered Holsteins have profit opportunities not afforded to those who don't. Good registered Holsteins have over time and will continue to offer premiums not available to those without them. I firmly believe the cost of registering a Holstein offers more profit potential today on a dairy than any investment you can make. Your registered Holstein cows continue to be the leader for superior production of high quality milk, fat, and protein. Our wonderful black and white cow gives you more of everything you're paid for. There is reason for optimism in the dairy industry. The world's population is increasing on a daily basis and the demand for dairy and meat products will only increase. The registered Holstein cow will continue to drive your profit opportunities like no other. Many thanks to all of you for your involvement with the Holstein Association USA. Thank you.